Hey guys, welcome back to Fishing It Up. Today, I'm gonna go over the Ned Rig. I'm gonna go over my gear and how I used it to win a recent tournament. Alright guys, those of you that's watched my videos previously know how I'm going to start out. I'm going to start out with the rod and the reel here. The rod is a 7 foot 2 medium light, extra fast, and no shocker here, it is a loose KVD rod. I have more of those than anything. I love them. They've held up good. I can't complain. The reel, once again, is a loose KVD reel. 6.2 to 1 gear ratio. Um, the line on here, I'm running 10 pound high -vis braid on here. It is a Seaguar Smackdown. I run that to usually, uh, it's probably about a 14 foot liter. I would say it is eight pound fluorocarbon. Now that fluorocarbon is most of the time Yozuri, eight pound. I do use Vicious, but mostly right now, just the Yozuri fluorocarbon. Now, I have recently started using Power Pro. This is the uh, Super Slick. It is also 10 pound. It uh, is supposed to glow under a black light. So when it comes time to start night fishing, I should be ready. Okay, let's move on and discuss the hooks before we move actually to the Ned Rig itself. When I first started, I was using just regular Ned Rig heads. These are the Z-Man finesse shrooms. Uh, mostly in probably one sixth. This one's a one tenth ounce. I probably used them as light as probably one fifteenth ounce, but uh, most everything I use now is between one sixth or one fifth ounce on pretty much all the heads I use. But this is, this is your standard one here. Um, it's great if there's no weeds or anything to get hung up in, but they hang up real easy if there's any kind of uh, anything. Just put it that way. If there's anything to get hung up in, these will get hung up in it. So your next iteration is the uh, weed guard. This is once again a Z-Man one. It just has the flexible little weed guard on here. And my favorite that I've been using a lot and works really good is the uh, extra wide gap and uh, I can Texas rig these so that you end up almost getting hung up never. Now, I'm using never a little bit loosely here because it still does happen. They get wedged between rocks, but they hardly ever get hung up actually in tree limbs or, or any kind of brush. Uh, they usually go through stuff pretty good. My favorite, the Ned Locks, I think is what these are called. They are the Z-Man Ned Locks. It's an extra wide gap. My favorite. Now, we're gonna move on, and there's plenty of colors of these. I use these almost exclusively because they float, uh, they hold out well. And uh, this is the Z-Man Finesse TRD. It's the original. Um, this is Green Pumpkin, one of my favorite colors. Green Pumpkin everything, pretty much, but it, uh, this is my go-to when I'm gonna net rig fish. Now, in this recent tournament, because it was a little bit cloudy and I wanted something more bluegill oriented. I went with this one. It is actually purple on one side and then a whoop, green pumpkin on the other. And it may be actually a little bit lighter, but very good color, worked great that day and helped me take home the win. Now, some other colors. If the water's clear and the day allows for it being more natural looking, I have the deal. It kind of looks like maybe a sexy shad color with a white belly. This would do good on a, a bright sunny day, you know, when you need to look extra lifelike, when it needs to look real as possible, that would be something you want to use. 
let's discuss the weight of the Ned rig and why it matters. So let's look at these smaller one tenth ounce Ned heads. These are half as heavy as this one fifth ounce. So if you wanted something to sink slowly, just kind of flutter down, you know, because the Ned rig is and a lightweight, it's gonna be more natural looking and instead of just nosing straight down and going down, it, it'll kinda horizontally, somewhat, it'll look more natural, the lighter one. So if you wanna go slower to the bottom, you want something lighter. If you want it to sink faster, you wanna go something heavier. So if you're fishing deeper, you wanna go heavier. If you're fishing shallow or you want it to suspend longer, you wanna go lighter. Me. My preference, I go a little bit heavier. I make sure I feel every rock, tree limb, everything when it's a little bit heavy. So the one fifth, one sixth are my go-tos for that. But if I want it to suspend just a little bit longer, or if I'm casting out open water and I know there's suspended fish and I just kind of want it to float down, flutter down to them just kind of slowly to give them time to see it and, and react to it, lighter one but they don't react to it and you want to zoom it by them to maybe get a reaction by it use something a little bit heavier so use that to determine which head is right for you now since i use braid to fluorocarbon on all my spinning reels in an upcoming video i'm going to do some braid to fluorocarbon knots some connection knots here now in the past i've used the line to line knot and here, more recently, I have started using the RP knot, the Royal Polaris knot. That's what's tied on there now. I'm also going to tie the John Collins, which they also call it an RP knot. Uh, it's the Red Phillips knot. is a little bit different than the Royal Polaris. Um, I'm going to do some videos of those. And that way, it'll give you a good idea how you too can have a solid connection between your main braid and your fluorocarbon leader. All right, so we've discussed the gear, and now I'm gonna discuss my pattern, or how that I was fishing this lure, especially the day of the tournament that I'm gonna show you here in just a few minutes. The, uh, the strategy was we were gonna fish the backs of the creeks, and the back of the creeks that we were targeting had standing timber in them. So we were fishing any of, the back, any of the creeks in the back that had standing timber. And we would work our way methodically around the banks and just casting that almost paralleling the bank as much as I could with both to allow room for both of us fishing because I had a co-angler with me. But uh, pretty much paralleling the banks, fishing from a foot deep out to probably about six or seven foot deep and within the first two hours that morning I already had our limit now this is a three fish limit it's a tournament that I hold myself it uh, I don't do five once it starts warming up I try to cut down on how many uh, fish that they can actually kill throughout the day there's rules about culling you know they have to get it done out on the water so hopefully you know, they're just keeping at the maximum three in their live well at all times and getting rid of them. So, two hours that morning, I already had our limit. I was ready to quit for the day. But, my co-angler, my buddy, he says, no, we're not going to quit. We're going to keep fishing. So, we fished it out the rest of the day. It went from being cloudy to sunny. And I changed out the colors back and forth throughout the day. Tried to throw some other lures. But, ultimately, 20 minutes before the, our time was up, I ended up catching another one. Another three and a half pounder, right around there, and uh, that got us in there for the win. If I would have gave up early that morning, we would have lost. We would have took home zero money. So the Ned rig paid off that day. So hopefully, you can use what I'm going to show you from that day of tournament fishing and the gear explanation, and hopefully, you can take that and get you a win as well.
this up out of here. He come out of nowhere and just drilled that. Oh, that might actually keep him out. Yep, that's what we do. Don't, don't feel bad, I missed some the other day too. Man, that looks bigger out of the water. Just do that. Yeah. Looking good. Down to bite. <laughs> <laughs> I need to measure it. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Oh man, that one was in there no, I'm too. I'm pretty sure that one's decent. I might have put him on your side. I don't know if he'll fit. Look at that. <sighs> Lovely. We probably got six pounds already. It is my day. You want this color? Oh, look, it flopped out. It fell out of his mouth as soon as I picked him up. And another one bites the dust. Dun, dun. I got away something. Oh, that's a donkey. That is it. Stop now, bro. Thank you. Look at that. Oh, Suckers. <laughs> and it was so light, too. Oh, man. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, that's a big one. Stop, 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 stop. All right, guys. Hopefully, you've enjoyed today's video and it's been helpful. Hopefully showing you my mistakes and my successes will help you catch more fish in the future. So, as always, thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Fishing It Up.